Jefferson against Maurice Moorhead of East Waterloo. Second straight East Waterloo wrestler. Well, I imagine there has to be a little bit uh, taken out of him or put into him as a result of what happened in the last match. So you never know how this match will start out. Frank Tate down to the counter headlock. For Maurice Moorhead. Up at 1A, we'll be watching Mike Rupert of Galva Holstein against Daryl Hogendorn of Rock Valley. And at double A, Algona's Todd Lapp, Lappy against Roger Coppice of Cascade. And that's a battle of undefeated wrestlers. Undefeated at double A at 167. Maurice Moorhead on top just long enough to get the takedown and escape. Scored by Law. Has a, he had a one-point decision in his first match in the tournament, then got a fall, and won in an overtime by one point in the semis. Moorhead had a tough match in the second round against Dowling's Milhop, but he won easily in the other two. I think Moorhead uh, hasn't really done a lot of varsity wrestling before this year. He's got great talent, but he just hasn't had a lot of varsity experience, so every match as he goes, his coaches feel that he's gradually improved because he's coming off of a, a base of zero, you know, no varsity experience. Now here he is in the finals of the state as a senior. And Long is in on the leg, but he couldn't keep it. It's a good inside trip. Just didn't quite get his balance. Oh, down down. And he got taken down with it. And it's four to one now in favor of Moorhead. Now this is Long's first trip to the state also. Work for a fall, work a fall. And, uh, neither, fall. neither wrestler has a, that, that wealth of experience behind him. One. So it's one of those matches where anything can happen. 167 pounds, 3A at Veterans Auditorium, the 1985 State High School Championships, live on Iowa Public Television. And we hope somewhere along the line that between the 15th of March and the 24th of March, you remember Friends Week. Your chance to be a friend of Iowa Public Television. If you like the wrestling coverage, high school and college, we'll be able to let everybody know that night. One of those 10 days. Moorhead's teammate Scott lost in the last couple of seconds over at uh, 155 pounds. And he's would like to go far enough ahead not to have the same thing happen. He's leading by three. Looked like he almost was ready to give him the escape right there, but uh, referee put him back down. So now, without much time left on the clock, only two seconds, coaches are telling him to keep him down. Moorhead by three. And the period ends. Coach Knipp from East Waterloo doesn't sit on the bench when Maurice is wrestling. He has uh, Bill Tate, who's his cousin, wrestles down at Iowa State sit on the bench. That's Dick Briggs. Peter Rapids Jefferson coach. His man trails by three. Now he's got one. Just missed a headlock. Two more. And it's six to two. Escape for Long with a takedown for Moorhead. You don't want to just start, you know, winging and zinging with still uh, four minutes to go on a match. Still have plenty of time to get it under control and come back and doing the right things. Yeah, Moorhead does have a lot of talent. He's now six to three. Well, he tires a little bit. He does fatigue some. He's, you know, he's given up points late in the match right here. Just gave up two more. Six to five. He just has a little bit of trouble pushing himself in the third period. Got that talent. He's gonna have to do it now. A six to five score in favor of Long. Up in favor of Moorhead over Long. But we're still about a minute and 18 to go. Now, look how he just lifts the hips, clears them, then comes on in behind. Now, Darrell Long from Jefferson has a good spiral, and he'll try to jump into that right away. He's pretty opportunistic, but by a spiral, I mean he'll block on the thigh, come in underneath the arm, and then if he can, he'll he'll use that. He just got a little high. He jumped it too fast that time, and yeah. Mora just popped up out of there and scored a reversal. Like he, he went for a cradle at the most inopportune moment, and it's now a three-point lead for Moorhead. There he's trying to put his arm out over in a hip ice, just almost got caught in his back with it. 
Three point lead with 55 seconds to go. Moorhead at East Waterloo. He's the second chance for an East Waterloo state title tonight. Three points over there. Eight to seven. Long is, is pretty good. He, he normally is a little more patient than we've seen right here. His coaches feel that that's patience as one of the long suits for him. And it'd be interesting to see it. Now watch him just sit right through and just throw the arm over and turn in and end up with the leg on himself. Or it just got up over top of the arms instead of staying in behind him. And there's Bill Tate. He used to wrestle one of his drums. He's a cousin of Moody's Morehead. Score eight to seven with 40 seconds to go. And Long locks up the cradle. Right, he jumped into that cradle that time, but just doesn't quite have control of it. Here's Morehead on his feet. No hand control, though. Of course, three to nothing in favor of Daryl Hogendorn from Rock Valley at 167 in the A class. And it's four to one in favor of Coppas of Cascade at uh, 167 in the double A. Over Todd Lapp, Lappy of uh, Algona, in the Battle of Unbeatens. Now, Mohead leads the line. Just popped him over top now, pitches him, right? Right over, I don't think he caught him on his back. He may not even get a takedown with him. Nine to seven for Moorhead. Now he has. Now he gets the takedown. And that's 11 to seven. With about 10 seconds to go. Now's the time to keep him down there. Now's the time to score the escape. Whichever wrestle you're for. We've, we've watched a lot of matches won and lost in this last four or five seconds. We certainly have. Uh, with six seconds to go in this match, neither man, you know, if you're, on, if you're the coach of one, you don't want that boy to get away. If you're the coach of the other, you say, get everything you can right now. Six seconds to go. <laughs> and Daryl Hogendorn from Rock Valley now leads six to nothing with 40 seconds to go in the last period. Mike Rupert from Hosting. The double-A match is just about over, and it is over. It's five to three for Coppas. Now we're seeing the last seconds of the championship match at 167. And it's... Well, it's 11 to seven. 11 to seven. Race Moorhead from East Waterloo is leading Darrell Long. I thought it was... There's the, there's the team standings. Fort Dodge over Dowling, but Dowling can score no more. So Fort Dodge wins. You can see Bettendorf's just nudged ahead of Prairie in there for third. Now in the third period, I lost track of the period here, Chuck. Somebody should have jogged me a little bit. <laughs> well, Moorhead is trying now with that with this uh, last period to go to beat the legs. What he wants to do is clear the edge of the mat right now and get a faster start, I'm sure, so that Darrell Long can't put the legs on it. Four-point lead for Moorhead. He's on the underside of this situation. I think he was just warned for stalling. You can see his coach, or Bill Tate, who's acting as his coach in this match, telling him what to do, how to free himself from those legs. But Long has to pop it out now. Okay. It's a five-point lead to make up. Moorhead leads by five, 12-7. Moorhead on the left. Darrell Long of Cedar Rapids Jefferson, who was undefeated before this match. Takedown for Moorhead, 14 to seven. He does have talent. I'm watching a, a, a kind of a rhubarb here with all the officials over in that one match in 2A, and I don't know what the what the decision is made, but they're still discussing, so it may not be over. We'll wait and see what happened here. I think they're having an overtime. I think that's what's happened. It probably it was ended up 5-5. It is. It's an overtime at Douai between Coppas and Lappy. So if you were a Coppas fan and thought he'd lost, return to life. That's right. Well, this match now is 14-7 in favor of Moorhead. And pretty much in control. As long as he continues to wrestle aggressively, there's another minute to go. And he's pretty much dominated the match except for just the points when he's given them. Point for Long, he got out. 14 to eight. Long is in on the leg. He got two more, it's 14-10. You know, there's still 38 seconds to go here, so Moorhead. Well, the match uh, always continues until they blow the whistle. Yep. 
pop the buzzer at the end. A lot of athletes have to learn that. Just because you're ahead by one, two, or 20 doesn't mean you get to stop when you want to. Hogan Dorn was the winner at A, by the way, if we uh, want to make that clear. Six to nothing, Rock Valley's Hogan Dorn beat Rupert of Galva Holstein for a championship. Well, he got to his feet nicely there. Maurice Moorhead from East Rutherford got to his feet. Didn't have hand control, but that's that's a good place for him to be because he can't get scored on when he's up there. Now, he was warned in that situation for, him, for going off the mat. For, uh, so he must not have been before. So he got to his feet again. Now, this puts the puts the responsibility along, and he just let him go. Now, this time, Moorhead comes right back in. 15 to 10. He just almost got pitched, but slipped the arm, came out for a takedown. And it's now a seven-point lead for Moorhead. Now Long now has to free that leg and really make it a desperation type of attempt here in order to free himself up and try to win this match. And his time is gone. He's not going to be able to do it. He's out. It's a 17 to 11, but there it ends. East Waterloo gets a champion. Maurice Moorhead. He was 26 and 2 coming into this match. Long was 26 0 and 1, and Moorhead wins. There he is, state champion from Waterloo East at AAA. So we told you there was an overtime going on down at the AA end. And in just a moment, we'll be headed that way to see what's happening. We're at the end of the first period there to win a title. Coach Steve Knepp, Waterloo East. Sixth place, Steve Shoemaker, Bettendorf. Fifth place, Bill Gillespie, Davenport West. Fourth place, Greg Herbert, Dubuque Waller. Third place, E.C. Mulehop, West Des Moines Dowling. Second place, Darrell Long, Cedar Rapids Jefferson. And the 3A 167-pound champion from Waterloo East, Maurice Moorhead. Maurice Moorhead. A lot of talent there. 167 for East Waterloo. Let's go to Dean Borg. 